yeah Money, cars, and clothes, and all the cribs I never trust these lames and hoes, cause they ain't shit Plus they'll just sink our dreams of things and jump ship So we'll fly first class, full glass with blunts lit, float on Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's M.I.B., baby. Today is another subscriber request. This one's called Black Panther vs. Blade. Admittedly, I'm not too familiar with Blade, but I know Black Panther enough. Before I start, though, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Tell me below what you want me to see next. Excited to get to this one. I'm always happy to be educated on some things. So let's see what happens. Let's see who wins overall. Let's see if I can make my own prediction beforehand based off of whatever information I got. I love I can't it. can't do it on TikTok right now anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and give it to him on YouTube. So, when it comes to Blade versus Black Panther, you got to remember, guys, Blade is superhuman. Now, you would think Black Panther would be superhuman, which because he's done a lot of superhuman-like things. Absolutely. But his stats say that he ha he's not. It says that he's enhanced. So, he's kind of like Batman. He's not superhuman, but yet he's done a lot. Enhanced? I don't think that's enough credit for what he's done, but I'm gonna let it play through. A lot of superhuman-like things, which to me is kind of, I don't know, I, me personally, I feel like you should just go ahead and give him superhuman, because, I mean, he, he's done so much. Exactly. He's so many and, and has beaten so many people. You would think they would have just gave it to him by now. That's but what I'm saying, like, where do you draw the line with that? human abilities, yet... As King of the Dead, he has all the collective strength, knowledge, skill sets, memories, and experiences of all his past Black Panther ancestors, which is called Black Panther knowledge. Now, when it comes to Blade, Blade is superhuman. Blade is, has superhuman strength, superhuman speed. He, <laughs> dude has a healing factor. Like, oh my God. Like, seriously, he has a healing factor, and it increases when he drinks blood. But he doesn't do that. Are you serious? Blade tries to fight like a man as often as uh, Okay, so, uh, so far, so good. Blade sounds like a bit of a menace if he drinks blood to replenish his health. All right. I like Black Panther a lot, but I'm on the cusp. I'm going to let it let it out, but still. Now, here is the problem when it comes to these two characters. Because, personally, I like Blade. And I, I like Black Panther. I really do. But here's the problem. Blade doesn't have anything that can get past that vibranium suit. He doesn't. <laughs> that vibranium something crazy. Uh, but it's, it's like it blaze so that. Hard, it's so hard to do this. It blaze uh, that strong, and how not? Blade may not have anything to get past that vibrating suit, but neither did Craven the Hunter when he fought when he fought Black Panther the first time. The first time him and Black Panther fought, he actually beat Black Panther. It was short lived because Black Panther went ahead and beat him. Actually, he was about to kill him. If it wasn't for Iron Man, Black Panther would have killed Craven the Hunter. Blade is better, stronger, faster, and a, he, to me personally, he, he's he's way more deadly than Craig and Hunter. Now, with that being said, that was an older suit Black Panther was using. The way he, the, the suit that he has now, and the fact that he has shadow combat, he's king of the dead, and, and everything he can do now, he's not the same Black Panther he was in those older comics. He's had a way big overhaul and a way way big upgrade and i'm sorry to say this but i'm gonna use a fight that i normally don't like using for black panther but it was when he fought the immortal hope blade was there when they had that fight and the immortal hope threw him away like he was nothing but a paperweight but black panther stepped in and defeated the hulk like it was nothing he did it he did it quick fast in a hurry he did what thor couldn't do he did what captain america couldn't do all right, so listen to what he just said. He did what Thor couldn't do and what Captain America couldn't do. Um, I'm pretty sure you would consider them more than enhanced, right? So just give him that title. Like, So I think I'm still going to stick with my Black Panther pick. Blade sounds good still, but from the sounds of this, because I'm only familiar with the Black Panther movie. So if I misled anyone by saying uh, I'm into that, I apologize. I'm here to be educated, though. He did what Captain Marvel couldn't do, what Iron Man couldn't do, what what what... Blade or Captain America couldn't do. And he did it quickly. And uh, it's, it's hard because 
Blade doesn't have anything that can really hurt Black Panther the way he is now. He doesn't. I'm, I'm sorry. And and if they were to even fight now, he wouldn't even be able to get to him because Black Panther is in the stars now. He has, he has, a, he has an intergalactic empire. So you'd have to get past legions. Legions. He seems well protected. Planet-sized armies to get to Black Panther now. Not to mention, Storm is not only the queen of all of that, in the new sword issues, she's also the regent of Mars. So, that and the fact that she's a god, you gotta get past her too. But if they were just doing a straight up fight, I, I'm sorry guys, I have to give it to Black Panther Thank because you. although Blade is very skilled, he's way more skilled than Kraven the Hunter, with everything Black Panther's had, had an upgrade with, and with the way that he fights now, I'm sorry, I gotta I got give it to Blade. I'm just kidding, I gotta give it to Black Panther. Okay, okay, I, I was like, did you just say it? It's really terrible. I, I have, I, I know people hate it because like, they're going, oh my God, why do you always give it to Black Panther? But I don't. It's, it's just the fact that you're putting him against people that really have nothing to fight for with. Blade has an adamantium sword. That's about it. Also, in the comments below, let me know who you think would be Black Panther. I'm uh, kind of curious to see. If he ranks Black Panther as high as he does, according to most people, I really want to know what you guys think. And we've seen Wolverine with Adamantium versus Black Panther. It doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. He, he always beats Wolverine. So, and you having an Adamantium sword is not going to do anything. You having a gun that shoots bullets is not going to do anything. You having super strength, super speed. Uh, you know, semi invulnerability and a healing factor is not going to do anything. He's beating people like that constantly, so that's not going to work. And it sounds so effortless, too. It's, it's, it, like, I know, I know it sucks, and I know it gets nerve wracking sometimes when you do these death battles. Side note, I would really love to do like some breakdowns like this if I could with some things I'm into because, like, he looks like he's having like a blast doing this, and it, it's so engaging, even for someone who doesn't know much like myself. People will go, okay, well, I think this guy could be the but the problem is, no. Now, here is where I say something you guys might even like. Blade could beat Black Panther if he had the right if he had the right equipment. If he had that makes sense. a vibranium sword or or an anti-metal vibranium sword, which again that is real because Black Panther has anti-metal claws. If Blade had an anti-metal sword. Anti-metal bullets, anti-metal, like all his weapons was like that. Blade wouldn't even need armor. Blade would be able to beat Black Panther with, with no issue, with little to no issue. The whole problem is the fact that Blade doesn't have any of that. He doesn't have anything to combat. He, 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 I mean, he just can't fight T'Challa at this moment. I'm sorry. With the technology that he has, the army that he, with everything that he has, he wouldn't be able to stand. He wouldn't be able to stand a chance against him. Not to mention, Black Panther can raise up his ancestors to fight for him, <laughs> while also having the spear of Bass, which is actually technically her fang, which he can use that to kill gods. So, if, so it's sounding like Black Panther has every advantage from everything I'm hearing. Especially if you need a certain weapon to beat him, like a vibranium sword, like whatever he was talking about. Doesn't sound close. Again, it's it's. I, I hate doing this because I, I know I know some of you guys hate hearing Black Panther's gonna win, but I'm sorry. <laughs> do people really hate it that much? Nothing Blade really has to hurt him or to do anything to him. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to go ahead and give it to Black Panther. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna have to. Blade is just not. He's not equipped enough to get him. Now, again, if Blade had an anti-metal sword. Blade would be able to kill Black Panther. No, but that's too issue. specific. I say that because Blade is one of the very few characters in the Marvel Universe who can swing his sword so fast, you won't feel it until he sheaths it. He can cut you without you even seeing him moving. That's how fast he is. He can dodge lasers, bullets, all that at close range. Blade is probably one of the fastest swordsmen. One of, I didn't say he is, he is probably one of, one of the fastest swordsmen in the Marvel history, in the Marvel history of Marvel Universe, all of it. Blade is cold. Blade, Blade is never to be slept on. By the way, they got new Blade comics coming out soon. I cannot wait to, to I can't wait to get them. I can't wait to get them, bro. I, oh, I need to start, I honestly. To new Blade comics. But I'm sorry to say, yeah, man, nah, like, like, Blade can't beat Black Panther. Uh, Blade cannot beat Black Panther. I know you guys don't want to hear that, but he can't. I'm sorry. He can't. You gotta be straight up with him. If he was well equipped and had the right equipment, yes. 
I would like to see a series where he is well equipped, and I would like to see who wins from there, whether it be in comic or movie form. Because honestly, all it takes is just that one advantage, and it's just how that character uses that advantage. I would like to see it very badly from the sounds of everything I just heard. He, he just he just does it because push comes to sub. I believe if Blaze really, really had to, he would fight T'Challa. <laughs> I know that sounds messed up, but I think he'd fight him. I think when push comes to shove, if he didn't want to die and he knew it was it was kill or be killed, he'd bite T'Challa. But the problem is, them fangs can't get past that vibranium unless he has some kind of vibranium coating over his face. See, it's just way too many handicaps you need to beat him. That would be cool to see. Can't say that wouldn't be cool to see. It would be cool to see. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, but... Cooler to see than Blade just chomping down the vibranium and then him cracking his teeth and shit turning it into pebbles. I would like to see, I don't know, just... I need to see uh, something. Yeah, Black Panther will beat Blade. It sucks to hear, but... Yeah, facts are facts. But, uh, yeah, guys, if you want, you know, if you want to get one of your death battles on YouTube, remember what I said? Go to my cash app, donate five... Or That's a really cool thing he does, and, though. you know, there you go. But, you know, if, if you want to get on here a lot quicker... If you donate 15 bucks, then you get a rush order, basically. But, yeah, I, I'm just... I, it, 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 it just... It just... It just shocks me on how many people actually care and support support me. It's, it's, it's just amazing. It's dope. I, plus, I just, I just love doing videos for you guys. But I can't wait to get back to my home state, which is basically TikTok, so I can do more videos for you guys. But, yeah, if you want your videos to be on YouTube, like I said, guys, just go to my Cash App, donate, and... uh. Yeah, let's get it going. But, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Um. Uh. Hey, I, I really like the way he did this video. He broke things down so nicely. I'm about to follow him on TikTok, as a matter of fact. My favorite part about the way he does his videos from what I just saw is that he'll say whatever he feels. And he'll just be like, yo, I know you guys are going to be upset. And, you know, he's just honest with it. This video was very interesting. If y'all like the video, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Be smooth. Thank you.